symbol of law and order on our nation's roads. Yet besides the lights and the paint job, they look like any other car on the road. But looks can be deceiving. Years ago, manufacturers basically retrofitted vehicles for police use. They took a retail vehicle and just bolted on components. Really wasn't designed for the use. But the vehicles we're producing now, the Tahoe and Impala, they were both designed from the very beginning with the intent of being police vehicles. So how do today's police vehicles differ from the one you see on your dealer's lot? Fast starts and fast stops mean tires rated to go 130 miles per hour, as well as heavy-duty springs, shocks, and anti-lock brakes. Here at the General Motors Proving Grounds in Mesa, Arizona, police departments come from all over the country to test the latest technologies. From pursuit-capable interceptors to four-wheel drive special services vehicles, which can act as on-scene command centers. Does it feel safe? That's the very first thing. Most of police work is uh, you're out patrolling, and if you see something, you have a split second to respond to what's going on. And if you're not feeling like your car is safe and handling well, or like it can take a curb and keep going, I, I don't want to be in it. Fortunately, the latest in safety technology was not designed just for the police versions of these vehicles. 360-degree occupant crash protection and sophisticated tire pressure monitoring for crash avoidance can be found both out here and on your dealer's lot. I'm Kate Brooks.